Since its early days, the movie industry has been no stranger to scandal. You might wonder why these scandals keep happening. Well, it turns out that controversy and Hollywood seem to go hand in hand. From secret affairs to criminal behavior, the following list reveals 20 of the biggest scandals that have rocked Tinseltown. Get ready to dive into the juicy details of some of the most talked about controversies in Hollywood history. Rumors have swirled around actress Joan Crawford's early days in Hollywood, suggesting she began her career in adult films. One particular rumor involved a film titled Velvet Lips, which was said to feature Crawford in explicit scenes. Although Crawford consistently denied these claims throughout her life, her FBI file tells a different story. The FBI file contains several mentions of compromising footage featuring Crawford, leading some to believe that there may indeed be truth to the rumors. However, it's worth noting that the existence of such footage has never been definitively proven, leaving room for speculation and debate among fans and historians alike. Despite these salacious rumors, Crawford went on to become one of the most celebrated actresses of her time, earning numerous accolades and critical acclaim for her work on both stage and screen. Her personal life was often tumultuous, but her talent and determination shone through every role she played cementing her place as a true icon of classic Hollywood cinema. Yet, the whispers of her past continue to follow her legacy, intriguing fans and scholars even today. Alfred Hitchcock, the renowned director known for his suspenseful films, had a peculiar obsession with his leading ladies. One of his most notable fixations was on Tippi Hedren during the filming of The Birds. Hitchcock's controlling behavior and professional vindictiveness became apparent when Hedren refused his advances. Hitchcock discovered Hedren, a model and aspiring actress, and cast her in The Birds after being impressed by her beauty and poise. However, as filming progressed, Hedren alleged that Hitchcock's behavior became increasingly inappropriate, with unwanted advances and advances. When she rejected his advances, Hitchcock's behavior took a dark turn. The director used his power and influence to make Hedren's professional life difficult lieutenant. He subjected her to grueling filming conditions, including using real birds for the film's attack scenes, which left Hedron with numerous injuries. Hitchcock also prevented Hedron from working with other directors, effectively blacklisting her in the industry. Hedron's experience with Hitchcock was not an isolated incident. The director had a history of controlling and manipulative behavior towards his actresses. His obsession with his leading ladies often led to a toxic work environment, with Hitchcock using his power and influence to exert control over their careers and personal lives. Despite Hitchcock's troubling behavior, his films remain some of the most iconic and enduring in cinema history. However, the legacy of his treatment of women cannot be ignored. Hitchcock's actions towards Hedren and other actresses serve as a reminder of the power dynamics that have long existed in Hollywood and the importance of addressing and combating toxic behavior in the industry. In the glittering world of Hollywood, Few scandals have shocked audiences like the one involving Ingrid Bergman. At the height of her career, the Swedish actress was admired for her beauty and talent, earning numerous accolades including three Academy Awards. However, her personal life took a dramatic turn when her affair with Italian filmmaker Roberto Rossellini came to light. Their relationship began during the production of Stromboli, a film directed by Rossellini. Despite being married to Petter Lindström, and having a daughter together, Bergman fell deeply in love with the director. Their passionate romance led to a pregnancy, causing a scandal that would change Bergman's life forever. As news of the affair spread, American fans were outraged. Many saw Bergman as a symbol of purity and innocence, making her betrayal even more shocking. As a result, she faced severe backlash, losing endorsements, and facing intense criticism from the media. Her career in Hollywood suffered significantly, and she found herself shunned by the industry she once dominated. But despite the controversy, Bergman stood firm in her decision to pursue her love for Rossellini. She left her husband and moved to Italy to be with him, giving up her successful career in Hollywood. Together they had two more children, and Bergman continued to act in European films. However, the damage to Bergman's reputation in America was already done. For years, she struggled to regain her former status in Hollywood, eventually returning to the screen in the late 1950s. Although she never fully recovered from the scandal, Bergman remained a talented and respected actress until her death in 1982. Looking back, it's clear that Bergman's affair with Rossellini marked a turning point in her career. While she may have lost favor with American audiences, she gained something far more valuable, the chance to follow her heart and live life on her own terms. 
transitioning to the topic of Marilyn Monroe and her alleged relationships with the Kennedy brothers. Let's delve into the details surrounding these rumors. Marilyn Monroe, born Norma Jean Mortensen on June 1, 1926, was one of the most iconic actresses of the 20th century. Her career took off in the 1950s, and she quickly became known for her comedic timing, sultry voice, and hourglass figure. However, it wasn't just her professional life that caught people's attention. Monroe's personal life was often the subject of much speculation, particularly her rumored affairs with President John F. Kennedy and his brother, Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy. While never confirmed, these allegations have been widely reported and analyzed over the years. One of the most notable instances of their supposed relationship occurred on May 19, 1962, when Monroe sang Happy Birthday, Mr. President to JFK at Madison Square Garden during a Democratic fundraiser. Dressed in a skin-tight gown that accentuated her curves, Monroe captivated the audience and added fuel to the fire regarding her involvement with the president. However, it wasn't just JFK who was linked to Monroe. There have also been claims that she had an affair with his brother, Robert. These rumors began to circulate after Monroe's death, with some sources suggesting that RFK had visited her home on the night before she died. Once again, these allegations remain unconfirmed, but they continue to intrigue those interested in Monroe's life. The circumstances surrounding Monroe's death on August 4, 1962, have further contributed to the mystery and intrigue around her potential relationships with the Kennedys. Found dead in her bedroom at the age of 36, Monroe's passing was officially ruled a suicide due to barbiturate poisoning. Yet, many questions remained unanswered, leading to numerous conspiracy theories, including the possibility of foul play related to her connections to the powerful Kennedy family. To this day, the true nature of Marilyn Monroe's relationships with John F. Kennedy and Robert F. Kennedy remains unknown, despite extensive investigations and countless articles written on the subject. The truth may never come to light. Nevertheless, the allure and enigma surrounding Monroe's life and possible liaisons with the Kennedy brothers persist, solidifying her status as a timeless Hollywood legend. In the 1920s, Mae West was making waves in the theater scene with her bold and risque plays. However, one play in particular would land her in hot water with the law. The play was called Sex, and it faced criticism for its sexual politics, despite lacking any explicit content. This didn't stop authorities from arresting Mae West for obscenity, and she was sentenced to 10 days in jail. Mae West's brief jail time ended up being a blessing in disguise for her career. The publicity from her arrest only served to increase interest in her work, and she became a household name overnight. People were intrigued by this bold and fearless woman who wasn't afraid to push boundaries and challenge societal norms. Despite the controversy surrounding sex, Mae West continued to write and perform in plays that explored sexuality and gender roles. She was a trailblazer in many ways, using her platform to challenge the status quo and advocate for women's rights. Mae West's impact on Hollywood and the entertainment industry cannot be overstated. She was a force to be reckoned with, paving the way for future generations of women in the industry. Her legacy lives on, and she will always be remembered as a trailblazer and a pioneer in the world of entertainment. Renowned actress, Elizabeth Taylor was no stranger to controversy throughout her career in Hollywood. One of her most infamous scandals involved her affair with actor Eddie Fisher. At the time, Fisher was married to Taylor's close friend Debbie Reynolds, but that didn't stop the two from embarking on a highly publicized love affair. The fallout was immense, with Taylor and Fisher eventually marrying in 1959, causing a rift between Taylor and Reynolds that would last for decades. But Taylor's reputation as a queen of scandal wasn't limited to just her relationship with Fisher. She would go on to have multiple high-profile relationships and marriages, including one with actor Richard Burton. Their tumultuous romance began while they were filming the movie Cleopatra, and their passionate affair became front-page news around the world. Despite divorcing and remarrying each other twice, their relationship remained volatile and ultimately ended in divorce. Throughout her life, Taylor's romantic exploits often overshadowed her impressive acting talent. However, she will always be remembered for both her captivating performances on screen and her larger-than-life personal life off-screen. From her early days as a child star to her iconic roles in films like Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, Taylor left an indelible mark on Hollywood that continues to resonate today. In the world of classic Hollywood, Few scandals were as explosive as the one involving actress Joan Bennett and her husband, Walter Wanger. 
Wenger, a successful film producer, was consumed by suspicions of an affair between Bennett and her agent, Jennings Lang. His jealousy ultimately boiled over, leading to a shocking act of violence. On a fateful day in December 1951, Wenger tracked down Lang in a parking lot and, without warning, shot him in the groin. The shooting left Lang severely injured, but thankfully, he survived. Wenger was immediately arrested and charged with assault with a deadly weapon. The aftermath of the shooting was a public relations nightmare for Joan Bennett. Although she was not involved in the altercation, the mere association with such a scandalous event cast a shadow over her career. The press hounded her, and gossip columns were filled with salacious details about the love triangle. Wenger was eventually convicted and sentenced to four months in prison. The incident marked a turning point in both of their lives. Bennett's career never fully recovered from the scandal, and Wenger struggled to regain his footing in the industry. Despite the challenges, Bennett continued to work in film and television for several more decades. She passed away in 1990, leaving behind a legacy as a talented actress who had weathered one of Hollywood's most notorious scandals. The story of Joan Bennett and Walter Wenger serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of jealousy and the power of gossip. Even today, it remains a fascinating chapter in the annals of Hollywood history. In the height of 1950s Hollywood, actor Rock Hudson managed to keep his homosexuality and eventual AIDS diagnosis under wraps, highlighting the immense societal pressures and deep-seated taboos surrounding these issues during that era. Born Roy Harold Shearer Jr. on November 17, 1925, Hudson was raised in a conservative family in Winnetka, Illinois. His good looks and charismatic personality quickly propelled him into stardom after moving to California. By the late 1940s, he had already signed a contract with Warner Brothers, marking the start of his successful film career. Throughout the 1950s and 60s, Hudson became one of Hollywood's most prominent leading men, starring alongside some of the industry's biggest names. Despite persistent rumors regarding his sexual orientation, Hudson continued to deny them, maintaining his heterosexual image both on screen and off. This facade persisted until the early 80s when Hudson publicly announced his AIDS diagnosis, making him one of the first celebrities to do so. The revelation sent shockwaves throughout Hollywood and society at large, exposing the harsh realities faced by those living with HIV AIDS at the time. Sadly, Hudson passed away just months later due to complications related to the disease. However, his courageous decision to come forward helped break down barriers and reduce stigma associated with HIV AIDS, paving the way for greater understanding and acceptance in years to come. Despite efforts made by Hollywood to hide Hudson's true identity, it ultimately underscores the enormous challenges confronted by closeted actors struggling to navigate their careers amidst intense scrutiny and prejudice. Today, Hudson remains an iconic figure whose legacy transcends beyond cinema, serving as a powerful reminder of resilience and determination even in the face of adversity. The story of Rock Hudson continues to resonate deeply within the annals of Hollywood history, etching an indelible mark upon its ever-evolving landscape. Errol Flynn, the dashing actor famous for his swashbuckling roles and charming personality, led a life filled with scandal and controversy both on and off the screen. His larger-than-life persona extended beyond his film career, delving into a territory of intimate scandals that rocked Hollywood's foundations. Born on June 20, 1909, in Hobart, Tasmania, Flynn quickly became known for his charismatic charm and insatiable sexual appetite. As his star rose in Hollywood during the late 1930s and early 1940s, so did the number of salacious rumors surrounding his personal life. However, one scandal stood out above the rest, the accusation of statutory rape involving two young women. The incident occurred when Flynn was tried in 1942 for allegedly having sex with two underage girls, Peggy Satterley and Betty Hanson. Despite ample evidence suggesting his guilt, including testimony from various witnesses, Flynn managed to escape conviction after a highly publicized trial. This outcome further solidified his image as a Lothario among fans and critics alike. While it appeared as though Flynn had emerged unscathed from the situation, the trial left an indelible mark on his already tumultuous legacy. Rumors continued to circulate throughout Hollywood regarding his promiscuous behavior and questionable morality. In fact, many believed that he engaged in relationships with several other underage girls over the years, although these claims were never proven in court. Despite these controversies, Flynn remained one of Hollywood's most sought-after leading men until his untimely death on October 14, 1959. 
Today, his contributions to cinema continue to resonate with audiences worldwide, even if tainted by whispers of past transgressions. Yet, it is impossible to separate the man from the myth. Errol Flynn will forever be remembered as much for his captivating performances as for his intimately scandalous lifestyle. In the tumultuous world of classic Hollywood, few stars had as much scandal surrounding them as Gene Harlow. Born Harley and Carpenter on March 3, 1911, Harlow's life was marked by personal and professional turmoil from the start. At the age of 16, she married Charles McGrew, a man 10 years her senior, in a rush to escape her overbearing mother. However, the marriage only lasted two years, and Harlow was soon on her own in Hollywood. It wasn't long before Harlow caught the eye of studio executives, who saw her platinum blonde hair and striking features as the perfect embodiment of the blonde bombshell archetype. She quickly rose to fame, but her newfound success came with a price. In an effort to cover up a scandalous affair, Harlow's studio forced her to marry Harold Rawson, a cinematographer, in 1933. The marriage was a sham, and Harlow filed for divorce just a few months later. Despite the drama surrounding her personal life, Harlow continued to find success on the silver screen. She starred in a string of hit films, including Platinum Blonde and Red-Headed Woman, and became one of the most popular actresses of her time. However, her success was short-lived. In 1937, at the age of just 26, Harlow died suddenly from kidney failure. To this day, Harlow's life and career continue to fascinate fans and historians alike. Her troubled personal life, including her forced marriage to Rawson, has become the stuff of Hollywood legend, and despite the many scandals that surrounded her, Harlow remains an icon of classic Hollywood glamour. Her legacy lives on, not just in her films, but in the countless stars who have followed in her footsteps.